Hey, hope you guys are doing well. at Grisham Solo Marketer here, and in this video, I want to quickly show you how to set up a contact form like this on your website, or you can be part of your funnel as well. But in this case, it's going to be on the website. So why even have a contact form, right? Why can't you just post your email address and people can just email you, right? Um, so for me personally, I have two reasons why I do this. I don't know why others do it, but the, the reasons might be similar. But the first one is to make it easy. Right. It's just they have to fill out the form. They don't have to tap on your email address or copy it somewhere. If it's like on desktop, it's not as easy sometimes. Uh, it just makes it much easier for people to reach out to you. Right. And the second one is that my email address is just, yeah, so other people don't scrape it and just add it to some to promotional lists. Right. To reach out when it comes to like their services. Uh, this is like an extra layer of, I wouldn't call security. It's just, you know, most of them will be too lazy to look for my emails, like down in the footer in the privacy policy. Right. Uh, so that's like an extra thing. That's why I do it. And yeah, if you want to create a form like this. So first what we can do is uh, let's go, let's minimize this. So first I'm just going to create a quick website, like a, like a template one, just uh, let's go to blogs. That's where we're going to create the website. And it's going to make sense in a second why I'm doing it. But this is in case you don't have a website, right? If you have a website, then you'll just skip this step. But let's just say it's a travel website, right? Just, I don't know, home. Let's select, there's a nice template. Yeah, let's pick this one, select template. Uh, obviously select a domain if you have any others, save. And now that we have the blog or the website rather, uh, here you can see if we click on it, then you can click on pages. And one of the pages you'll see will be a contact page like the one I showed you before, it's pretty much preset. It's ready. So this is the easy way. Basically, I just showed you how to how to just create one that's, you know, you can you can edit and do all that stuff, right? But this is how you like the quickest way, right? But just in case if you have deleted it or something went wrong or, you know, whatever the reason might be, let's just delete it, right? Let's just get rid of it and recreate it. So I'm going to do this. Let's delete the whole thing delete the whole thing, right? It's empty. So do we just have an empty section? So on the left side here, there's two things we need to do. We need to add the form and then we need to uh, uh, set up the uh, email forwarding, which uh, sounds fancy, but it's nothing too crazy. So you'll see in a second what that means. Uh, so yeah, the first thing we will add in the contact us form, right? It's right here. You can add a head, uh, some sort of a headline text if you want, you know, contact the next 24 hours, right? Something like that, like like my form, right? Contact me personally, I will make sure to get back to you as quickly as possible, right? You can do that, you don't have to do that, but this just, you know, that's kind of a standard way of doing it. Uh, I would leave the captcha in. Sometimes there's bots spamming. Same thing goes for like sign up for your newsletter and stuff like that. If you make it really easy, sometimes they, they keep uh, signing up for these things and you'll see a lot of fake leads in your in your email inbox. They're like weird numbers and letters and stuff like that. So I would keep this in. Yeah, so that's the first one. And the second thing, we want people that who actually fill out this form, we want to get a notification in our, in our email inbox, right? So let's go set that up. Because as of currently, they just fill out the form, but that's it. It just goes off into the void. So now we want to actually let system.io know that we need the notification. And we need the notification to show what that message was and who actually sent it. So let's go to settings. Let's go set up the email forwarding. Let's drag this one down. You know, you want to go to custom domains. It's obviously the domain that you used for the website. You pick that one and you select settings. And over here, you scroll below and you put in your email. The, the email address, as it says here, email address for contact us, form submissions, which email do you want the notifications to, to, to go to, right? So let's, uh, I, I set it up, I save it, and now we can go and test it out. All right, let's copy this. Okay, we have the page that's been set up. Let's go test it out. Email test. This is just a test, right? And then we'll we'll be able to check whether the message comes through as well in the email, which we'll see in a second. So we submit and yeah, thank you for your request. We'll contact you soon. Uh, this is another thing that you can edit in the back end. If we go back, uh, let's click on the contact page, like the, the actual confirmation message, right? This one, you can edit it here as well. If you go back to the page editor for the contact us page, if you click on the whole contact us element, you can see here, you can edit this message, right? That shows up. 
And yeah, so as for now, the message has been submitted. So uh, give me a second, I'll go check. I'll go open my email and, and we'll see if the message came through. Okay, looks like it came in. Here we go. So this is the result that you will see on your end when the message comes in. So obviously this is the, the email the name and the message. This is just a test, which is the, what I wrote in. So yeah, this is pretty simple. Two steps as a reminder, set up the contact form, uh, which is usually just set up the page, but I also show you how to set it up from scratch, just drag in the field. Uh, you can optional adjust the, the confirmation message to let them know, Hey, this came through. This is good. I'll make sure to get back to you as quickly as possible. And, uh, yeah. And the email forwarding, right? Just to which email should this go to? So it's pretty much a two-step process, but yeah, if you have any other questions about this or anything else, system not IO related comment below, and also make sure to check out the description. There's a couple of cool free templates for a, uh, for sales funnel and, uh, and lead generation. Uh, so yeah, make sure to check those out as well. They're completely free and they come with explainer videos and yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.